What is up, you guys? I'm of course welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with Jostril, of course, the Skyrender. And today we're going up against Mr. Murkrow in our LBA Week 6 game. And it's no pre-game analysis this time, it's because I didn't record one. Sadly, work got in the way, and I usually want to record that without having the game. That did not happen this time. So, sadly, I'm just going to go over my team quickly. And as you guys see, Mr. Murkrow's team is really formidable. And he brought pretty much what I think he wanted to bring, or what I was think he was going to bring outside of his Latios. So anyway, I decided to bring Tangrowth, Slow King, Charizard X, Sand Slash, Thunderous, and Scuffed God of War. Now, Thunderous is a Life Orb, just all-out attacker. Sand Slash is a Rapid Spinner with enough speed investment to outspeed Crobat if he brings Sand on his own. Tangrowth, defensive to deal with Extra Grill, Charizard X, Standard Set, Jolly to speed tie with Manaphy. And the Slow King Assault Vest, somewhat defensive to not be Oko by Tyrannus Hars Pursuit if it has one. And just overall, very, very defensive. So, a very heavy defensive team this time. Uh, only two potential sweepers, Armor Charles, Rex, and Thunderous, and Sand Slash in the sand. And really, here, I was thinking that he probably want to get his rocks up. So, safe lead for him would be definitely Yuxi at this point. So, it's either Yuxi or Tyrannitar to get rocks, like I said. So that was my initial thought, I decided to go with Tangrove, there was a juggle between Thunderous and Tangrove, but Tangrove was a safer call if I'm gonna outlive this monster of a team. So with all that said, let's get to it. So right, I should also say that, you know, I did this team on a Monday, um, did some last second like switches and stuff like that, but I had a pretty, pretty sure a good idea going in. So anyway, start off with Tangrove here, he's gonna go straight up for Toxic, so it's definitely what's foreseen in this situation like this. And Toxic is not too shabby, but at the same time, I have no way of getting rid of it outside of the Healing Wish. And the knockoff does really not do enough. And the thing is here, I could go for Leaf Storm, forcing down its HP even further. But I'm in a situation here where I would just rack up damage. And the issue with that is that as this battle is going to go on, I really can't have my Tangrove Whittle down. Because like I said, it's my only response to his uh, Excadrill, and if that Excadrill gets the sand up, it's just going to annihilate me. So with that said, I really needed to get out of here. Now, I do decide to go to Slow King, because I thought that that was a safer call. Uh, the issue, of course, is that he's going to get this thing toxic too. I could probably go with Thunders instead, but since I am Assault Vest and Special Defensive and all, I was thinking that, you know, this is a good Pokemon to take that kind of special hits, or a possible U-turn. Now he's gonna go for Toxic here, like I said, there was really nothing I could do here, obviously switching to Slowking was probably not the best idea. So we go for a Skull, we force him down a whole lot, but no burn of course, because why would we? And here he's gonna show me, of course, that he has the U-turn. Now I do believe I keep Scalding, there's really nothing else I could do. Uh, I could have probably seen that he probably could have switched out and go for a Psyshock here thinking they could bring anything else. The thing is here, I was really feeling that if he's gonna bring something, it's probably gonna be a Tyranitar, seeing that of course it could pursue trap me here. But it goes to the Manaphy. Now, when I see leftovers of Manaphy, I just... Right, it's probably a substitute set. I need to void that off. I need to pressure that set. And I don't really have a lot of mods for it outside of Tangrove to could probably kill it with a Leaf Storm. But Slowking is not the man for this, it really, really, really isn't. And he, of course, gonna see this one coming, switching into Crobat, and I'm gonna bring Tangrove. So nice double from, of course, Murkrow, who got me in the bag, basically. The Force plays are here, and there's really nothing I can do. Now, he was the thought that I was thinking, that he wouldn't go for a Brave Bird. Brave Bird felt kinda risky, though I don't have anything that resisted. I felt that that was an overkill. Probably U-turn to get momentum, seeing I would probably switch out. He goes directly for the Brave Bird, and I really, really, really thought that he would switch out. So, jokes on me, obviously, because I lose a massive amount of HP, which just means that Excadrill is now gonna sweep me from this range. There is nothing I can do against it. He pretty much got the game from this point on. There is... I really need to get my Tangrow up in health. Now, I'm gonna go to Kaiser, thinking that at least I can take a Brave Bird from this one. He's gonna pull a double on me again, or he's gonna switch out, or actually go for U-turn, sorry. And he's gonna bring the Manaphy. Now, I will pull the stunt twice, that is that when he brings Manaphy, I was so sure, like I said, that due to leftovers that it was a subset. So he's probably gonna go for that, so I was thinking, alright, I go for Earthquake once, seeing if he goes for a substitute, thinking that I could possibly leave a Scald. Let's just say it as it is. 
I cannot. I cannot take a skull. So I do another over prediction, which will cost me my rapid spinner. And the bigger issue with that is, of course, that now the rocks are here to stay. There is nothing I can do. I am now forced in a position I cannot get out of. And uh, I'm just gonna bring now sh my Thunderous, forcing him to sack his Yuxi, because really now the rocks are the same way. And this is probably the point where I feel that, ah, oh, shit, why the hell did I not have um, Nasty Plot on this set or anything to set up with, knowing that he's actually having somewhat of a defensive team with Excadrill as his problem, or his sweeper, basically. So, Yuxi is out, nice. We lose a 5 for 5, but as you guys see, I am not the guy with momentum. Now, he's gonna bring the free Domophile, and thinking that probably gonna go for a Hyper Voice, uh, Slow King is my better option. It really is, because there's really nothing could go or do to it. And uh, he's gonna straight up for the Hyper Voice, and it doesn't really do as much as I thought. Had it been Specs, that would be a 2 hit KO. Now, in an area where I actually can take another one. Not likely, but I can't take it, which shows me that he is not Specs, of course. That is Call Mind. And that's scary. Like, luckily, it is not that fast of a Mon, but I have Psy Shock to actually force it down. But it's somewhat defensive here. I do make a good chunk of damage, obviously, with that crit. But there is just not a whole lot I can do here. So I either have a chance to actually save my Eurasia and switching out or sacking it. But since I've been using the Rege Regenerator Core, I thought that that was probably a better option. I'm gonna go to Undyne, knowing that I can take the Hyper Voice without any real issue. And he's actually gonna go for the Wish. The issue with that he goes for Wish is that he can now save switch into whatever he wants, which means that I'm better off going for Dragon Dance here. And there is really nothing else I can do, and I know Tranitor is gonna come in, and I can't really stop that from happening. I could probably switch into Thunder with Superpower and force it out, but at the same time, I am now in a position where things are just gonna turn shit for me. And thinking about it, I should probably have roosted up instead, trying to save shards over as long as I can. But I didn't do that. I obviously felt that there is nothing I can do, so I'm just gonna go for that safe dragon dance and then try to do as much damage as possible on this Tyranitar. And I am feeling that I should probably have had a brick break on this Charizard X. That would at least take away this Tyranitar, knowing that it actually is a smooth rock set. But I didn't do that. And Dragon Claw, it's, it does a good chunk. Had I had Outrate, I would have killed it, but I'm still locked into that, which meant that Undyne or um, Undyne would not have been able to deal with Excadrill anyway. So yeah, we lose Charizard X here. It's it's real unfortunate. It not played out right as I was hoping. Now I'm gonna bring Sarlax here. The reason for that is because I really want to get that Regenerator going, because now I know that there is no way in hell that I can stop uh, the Excadrill with that Tiger of in mind. It, there is just no way. So I'm trying to stall out the sand turn as I basically go back and forth because that's the only plan I have right now and as you guys see it's not a solid one. Trantor just destroys me right now because I am forced, like I said, to bring Tangrove to good health to deal with Excadrill. The issue is that I don't really have a lot of switches for, of course, uh, Tyranitar and really, you know, the hazard damage is forcing me out and of course he will see what I do eventually and go into Femto, his Crobat, which is okay. It's not like I did anything to hurt it here. I'm actually going out to Urklas, thinking I could probably force that out too. And knowing that a Crunch will definitely take me out, of course, there also. But at this point, I have no other options left. I guess I don't. Um, so thinking here, the Crobat definitely can't kill him with a Brave Bird, but he has also Sludge Pump. So he was probably prepping for, of course, the Blade and uh, probably packing the Heat Wave, and that's definitely gonna kill us. Um, so that's unfortunate, and I don't really have a lot of mods left. I have Elissa, the God of War, and my um, Tangrove, of course. And here's a, where I realized that, oh yeah, I had a Scarfed Healing Wish here. What the fuck, why didn't I use that? Uh, so basically, I'm forced here to lose my Elissa. There's really nothing I can do. I'm gonna go for that Moonblast, and basically baiting, of course, the Excadrill. Now at least my, um, my Tangrove is in good health, which is nice. Uh, the, important, or the unfortunate part is that, of course, I can't outspeed it because the sand is still raging on. Now he'll go for next sister instead of an Iron Head, which is fair, thinking I probably would have switched out to my um, Tangrove. But the thing is here, uh, there is nothing I can do anyway. Like, Iron Head would probably be a 2 hit KO anyway, so there was no reason for it. But at the same time, uh, it, it doesn't matter in the long run. It really doesn't, because uh, as 
at the range of HP I am in right now, I am not worried about the Exister. Now, I do uh, find out later that it has Sword Stats, which probably should have set up instead. But, you know, it is where it is. Um, it's gonna bring Star Alex here again. And like I said, now I have a good amount of HP where I actually can take an Iron Head or an Exist, so, uh, so which is nice. Uh, the bad part is that that's about it. Like, that's all Tanger can do at this point. I won't win this game. I will lose 3 0, sadly. And I lose very, very fairly, to be honest here. There was no play I did in this battle that would have changed the outcome of this game. Uh, Mokro, very, very good battle in general, um, had a very solid team for this game, and I was just not feeling it. Um, probably, my team was probably not as good as it should have been, but at the same time, um, I was actually using a defensive core more than an offensive core this time, which is the price I pay in the end for this battle. It just no way of avoiding that. I think Mercury played definitely the better game. So right, some afterthoughts, I guess. Um, I really don't know what to say. Um, I guess one thing that I think could have been helpful for me uh, that I didn't do was that I didn't do a pre-game analysis before the match. Usually I do that a day before, uh, just to um, to tell myself, of course, while I'm recording those things, I do kind of tell myself, you know, this is the, the purpose of this mon. And I think that would have been kind of helpful, because I wouldn't probably lose as many mons as I did. But at the same time, I do do two really, really two big over-predictions, but of course, both Tangrove that gets the Crobat and Sashless against the Manaphy. And I lose both mods in the process, basically, or I force Tangrove down. And forcing Tangrove down meant that I was now forced to play a way of making it back with recovery, which was not possible at that point. It just, it wasn't. So, um, and I think that's the thing here. I was probably under uh, playing rather badly. I didn't play as well as I usually do. Uh, or as, Yeah, I did not play as well as I usually do. And going against an opponent that are... In general, really, really, really steady. Um, Mercro is really, really good. So, if I'm having a bad day, then I'm definitely gonna lose against a guy like him. There is no way uh, that game is gonna work any differently. He is definitely a very aggressive player. So, I think he wins fairly. And like I said, I think he plays the overall better game. He has a good idea what he wanted to create, and I think he got me there because there was no play I made that was really offensive enough. To change momentum, I was basically stalling out the most inevitable, and that was definitely, definitely gonna lose. And this is actually my first real loss in the LBA. Um, the other two losses I have was definitely more of a um, hexy kind of situation. This was definitely clearly that Mercro was a better player, and I think the outcome is more than fair here. Um, that's really all I can say. I think he has the better output, and I really need to evaluate myself for next week because. We need a win now. I am a Jubilee free for free, which is okay. We're still in playoff in course LBA, but we actually have six more games to play, which means that I can't rely on free wins and free losses. And we're going against Pori um, Arcanine. Now Pori plays again uh, next week, and he has a really strong team. So I'll do my pre-game analysis because I think that is helpful for me. I really do. But this was flat out a defeat. No way around it. So yeah, with that said guys, of course, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Mr. Mercro's channel if you want to see his side of this battle, which I should be uploaded, I do believe, while I record this. Um, so yeah, with all that said, thank you, as I said, so much for watching, and i see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.